The National Hepatitis Program of the Ministry of Health, in collaboration with the World Health Organization, commemorated World Hepatitis Day on Monday, 29 July 2024, at the Canifin General Hospital. With the theme, It's Time for Action, the commemoration began with a march pass from Jimpex to the Canifin General Hospital, aiming to raise awareness of hepatitis and emphasize the importance of the day. Sheriff Baji, the National Hepatitis Control Program Manager, speaking on the theme, acknowledged the urgent need for testing and treatment for those living with viral hepatitis to achieve the global elimination goal by 2030. Major Buba Jaju from the Gambia Armed Forces Health Unit stated that the military should have health specialists for hepatitis, not just for ammunition. Major Jaju revealed that in their 2018 research, 532 military personnel tested for the hepatitis virus and 76 tested positive, including 71 males and 5 females, emphasizing the need for increased awareness among their personnel. Dr. Jibril Ndow, MRC Hepatitis Group representative, highlighted the different types of hepatitis and their impact. Less than 1 in 10 people who are living with viral hepatitis know that they have the infection. And because they do not know their condition, they are unable to seek help. And help is available. The most important viral hepatitis diseases are hepatitis B and C. For hepatitis C, there is an easy test and there is a cure that someone will take for only three months and they can eliminate the virus. For hepatitis B, there is a test that you do which only requires a finger prick. So even for those who are afraid of needles, you can still do the test. Your results are available immediately. We have a booth there where we are offering the test today. And for those who have hepatitis B, there is a treatment that is very effective that can prevent people from dying. And for those who do not have hepatitis B, there is a vaccine that prevents people from having the disease. And the vaccine is available everywhere in the Gambia and is given as soon as after birth onwards through the EPI programs. So if we have all of these, then why is hepatitis still killing people every 30 seconds? That is because the tools we have to combat the disease is not available to people. He urged people to show commitment to learning more about the virus, raise awareness and get tested, to know their health status while also emphasizing the need to combat discrimination against those with the virus. Dr. Sher Omar Bitti is the head of the hepatitis clinic at Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital. For the past 10 years, I have seen more than 1,000 people, 1,000 people dying of hepatitis related complications. Just think about it in your own family. How many of us? have had people who actually died. And when they died, when they were dying, what they complained of was they had an abdominal distension. They were complaining about abdominal pain and abdominal distension. So it's almost everybody, every family. Almost every family, if I ask questions here, almost everybody will say, yes, I could remember my this, my that, my that. So what it means is, Every family in this Gambia is either directly affected or indirectly affected. Dr. Momodu Kasama, World Health Organization representative, stated that progress has been made in many countries in treating and preventing viral hepatitis and expanding infant immunization. However, globally, access to prevention, testing, and treatment services for viral hepatitis remains far too low. He retaliated the World Health Organization's commitment to supporting the Gambia in achieving global targets set for hepatitis. Musa Kamara, director of Western One Health Region, is the representative of the Minister of Health. In the Gambia, previous research has shown that nearly one in every 10 individuals is infected with hepatitis B virus, liver cancer due to hepatitis B virus is leading cause of death in young Gambian men in their most productive ages. In our continuous commitment to health and well-being of our population, I am pleased 
to announce the establishment of a national hepatitis control program within the Ministry of Health. Kamala remarked that this program represents a significant milestone in their ongoing efforts to prevent and control hepatitis in the Gambia. According to World Health Organization, a person with hepatitis-related illness passes away every 30 seconds. Therefore, it is essential to accelerate action on better prevention, diagnosis and treatment to save lives. World Hepatitis Day is observed every year on July 28 to raise awareness about hepatitis a viral infection that affects the liver. According to reports from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, viral hepatitis affects over 300 million people globally and causes more than 1 million deaths each year. Reporting for N24 TV, I am Fatou B. Kamara.